Good morning, America! Yes, so now we've compiled a list of top films from the years 1970 to 1979. This is the Academy's Best Picture winners of the 1970s. Patton, released as a biographical war film about tough General George S. Patton's career during World War II. With a script by Francis Ford Coppola and Edmund North and starring George C. Scott, it would go on to win seven <coughs> Academy Awards. Now I want you to remember that no bastard ever won a war but died for his country. He won it by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his country. What's the matter with you? It's my nerves, sir. I just can't take the showing anymore. Your nerves? Well, how? You're just a goddamn coward. <laughs> Shut up! I won't have you yellow bastards sitting here crying in front of all these brave men who've been wounded in battle. Wake up, damn it! Why don't you wake up? <laughs> Shut up! At number nine, The French Connection. Directed by William Fritkin and starring Gene Huckman. The French Connection focused on a pair of New York City cops in the Narcotics Bureau who stumble upon a drug smuggling job with a wealthy French exporter. Gene Hackman. Hands up! Ah! Oh my goodness! Popeye Doyle. If he doesn't like you, he'll take you apart. And it's all perfectly legal. Because Doyle fights dirty and plays rough. Doyle is bad news, but he's a good cop. The French Connection. A millionaire exporter with a record too clean to be true. And Doyle knows it. But he's been known to make mistakes. This time, he can't afford to be wrong. Next we have The Godfather, directed by Francis Ford Coppola and starring Marlon Brando and Al Pacino, about a New York City crime family in the 1940s, also regarded as one of the greatest films in world cinema. You look terrible. I want you to eat. I want you to rest for a while. And in a month from now, the Hollywood Big Shot's gonna give you what you want. It's too late. They start shooting in a week. I'm gonna make him an offer. He can't refuse. What the hell is this? It's a Sicilian message. It means Luca Brasi sleeps with the fishes. At number five, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Based on the 1962 novel by Ken Kesey, with Jack Nicholson as Randy McMurphy, a small-time criminal confined to a men mental institution, where he befriends several patients in clashes with the staff, led by Nurse Braxton. If Mr. McMurphy doesn't want to drink his medicine orally, I'm sure we can arrange it for you to have it some other way. But I don't think you'd like that, Mr. McMurphy. <laughs> you'd like it, wouldn't you? Here, give it to me. Whee! Uh, uh, how's it going? Going back? <laughs> perfect, Billy Boy. Absolutely perfect. They uh, was giving me 10,000 watts a day, you know, and I'm hot to try. The next woman who takes me on is going to light up like a pinball machine and pay off in silver dollars. Rocky, a 1976 sports drama written by and starring Sylvester Stallone as Rocky, Rocky Balboa, an uneducated but kind-hearted fighter who gets a chance to compete for the World Heavyweight title. And then there's The Deer Hunter, a war drama starring Robert De Niro and Christopher Walken as young men who find themselves in the midst of the chaos of the Vietnam War, known for its controversial Russian roulette scene. You're just too good to be true, can't take my eyes off of you, you be like heaven to touch. You play! No! You play! No! You play! You play! Uh, uh, yeah. 
And there you have it. And although those were several notable films, we have other films that didn't quite make the cut, but are still known for the impact on the decade. Here they are. And I figured right at once what to do. If I were a rich man, Shut up. Ah! Jet, I can hold it. Pull up! No, I'm on fire! 